Meanwhile, authorities in Pakistan have rescued all eight people who were stranded in a disabled cable car that was dangling 600 feet in the air. It happened yesterday when six children and two adults traveling to school got stuck after a cable snapped. Pakistan's military used helicopters and a makeshift chairlift to conduct some of those rescues. Caroline Davies with our partners at the BBC has more. This is truly an incredible story. Of course, these children were just on their way to school. This was a relatively normal school commute for them because taking these sorts of cable cars means that crossing these sort of deep ravines just takes a matter of minutes rather than going via road, which can take hours. And of course, they've gone from uh, simply taking that normal route to school to suddenly becoming this global story that people were desperately willing them on, hoping that they'd get back to solid earth. And of course, we heard late last night that all of those on board, the six children and the two adults, did manage managed to be rescued, that they were brought back down. Now, watching the rescue throughout the course of the day, I really didn't necessarily feel like that was the result we were going to see. We saw early on the fact that it was difficult conditions. It was a rural area. There were very strong winds. We saw multiple attempts by the army helicopter trying to reach these children, trying to reach these adults who were all stuck, suspended uh, in this cable car, in this chassis. Uh, and then, uh, after one initial rescue, the light started going, so the helicopters had to leave because they couldn't operate in those environments and instead locals and rescue teams took over uh, using cables and pulleys and a zip line system to get to the cable car to get those children and those adults that were on board out strapping them in and then zip lining them down back to their families and of course over the course of the day many many people had started to build up on the ground there watching there was a real crowd with families pleading with officials trying to get them to persuade them to do more but of course very little that they could do other than uh, really hope that some of these rescue missions were going to work and then of course this great news uh, late into the evening that all on board all eight had got off safely.